So, this one's gonna be about me talking about things. And I'm hopefully also gonna cover some things that are of interest to you, whether it is about, I don't know, working out, diet, uh, self-development thoughts, just some things that I have discovered, so, some things like this. It's probably gonna be like a huge, more or less huge um, collection of thoughts that, that might be interesting to you. And I, I hope that I'm gonna have some music there and whatnot so that it is not that boring. And I just highly, highly, highly recommend listening to this as a podcast because it is available as a podcast and it is also probably gonna save you some time. So if you're just seeing this YouTube video, please check out the podcast. You know, it's way better uh, there's also not going to be any ads and stuff so there's anyway not going to be any ads but um you're also going to be way faster um you could for example also speed it up if i'm too slow something like that i try to cut it relatively well so that it is not like a lot of breaks and um, between me talking and not talking and yeah anyway we're gonna see after the intro as every day because this is what we do and i also try to stay here where there is a good how should I say, where there is good um, soundproofing. So I'm maybe I'm gonna make myself a little bit of a mold and uh, talk into that. And, and I hope it is better like that. So um, first of all, I really do wanna cover some, some dietary things or some workout things because uh, I'm as an idiot as I am, um, have been <laughs> have been overtraining a little tiny bit. And as I've also been in the past day and also today been you know, watching a few workout videos and actually finding some some really cool people that really do give a lot of scienti scient scientific advice, scientific evidence, some studies. Um, for example, there is one guy called Dr. Mike Israelit or something. Uh, if you just type it in, just kind of similar, you're probably gonna find him. And also Jeff Nippard, N E double P A R D, I guess, and they they do both make uh, first of all free content which is something that i heavily appreciate and second of all yes this is what i've just been been viewing and it is about paper well anyway <laughs> um but i've just actually been watching a video on volume and and i have seen that a workout volume of 20 so 10 to 20 sets per week very important per week for every body part or per body part seems to be optimal for muscle growth. Um, if you go further, people have been kind of saying that it is better and stuff. Some people say that it is worse, but in general, uh, we kind of are quite sure of the fact that it is good to stay in between 10 and 12 sets per, per body part per week. And um, I've been thinking about things therefore, and I mean, I have seen that I'm doing like, for example, let's just take um, chest. I'm training chest three times a week and I'm having um, four sets per exercise and I'm having four exercises, which means that I'm having on one day um, 16 sets, quite, because I'm having four sets and um, four exercises. And if we add it up with just uh, the other one, uh, with the days, then I'm gonna have um, 16 times three, which is like, I don't know, 40, 42, 48, something like that. Um, yeah, it's quite a lot <laughs> and I don't know if this is kind of optimal and whether I should actually just take another split because at this point in time I'm having an upper and lower body split because um, I do want to maximize the amount of times I work out certain body parts in the week so that I can make sure that I'm gonna hit it correctly and I'm gonna hit it in a way that is also gonna um, uh, therefore, is it indulge or introduce? I think it's more introduce, yes, no indulge, it's not. Um, protein synthesis and um yeah so so i don't know and i'm also which is <laughs> which is another thing um i've seen some gains and i've really been able to make some gains especially uh when it comes to my apps i really am fucking happy about that um i've been really training hard this is also one of the reasons why i am not gonna work out today and yesterday and why i've also been feeling bad or just not as good the past uh, few days because i've clearly overtrained and i've clearly overdone it because I have done one hour and quite 20 minutes of workout in the morning, just quite after waking up or something. And then in the evening or late afternoon, another 20 to 30 minutes, just because I wanted to do it. And just because I just, I don't know, I, I like working out and I like moving my body, but uh, not that of a smart idea <laughs> in the end, because I fucked myself. I really have. And therefore like, um, 
I mean, uh, because of that, I've been looking up some things and the evidence and stuff like that, so that I uh, kind of make, can make sure that that I'm doing it optimally. Because the fact is, I have clearly done way too much. Um, I have seen gains, but but I don't know. It, it could have also just been a case that I would have been able to uh, get better gains by doing less. Definitely. Definitely, but you know because, and this is something that I wanted to say, um, I've also done supersets, which means that every single set that I had was a superset, quite. Which means that, that you know, I, I've completely killed myself. I've completely uh, just probably also done something wrong. This is why, first of all, I've cut out the supersets to a relatively high degree. I like them, quite, which is a problem, uh, I guess. But, but I don't know, maybe I just also have to do another split that I'm just only gonna work out uh, two times this. I know that I'm not gonna have chests three times a week, but I'm gonna have it two times. Just also because like I'm having um, upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body. So uh, my workout routine starts with, uh, what is it called, Wednesday, yes? Um, because because of school reasons, I initially had to just structure, again, stru structure it in that way, which means that I'm gonna work out from Wednesday to Sunday, and Monday and Tuesday are my days off. So today is Tuesday, and yesterday I've already had a day off and the last week I've decided to, you know what, I just don't need two rest days. You know, especially not after one and another. So I'm just going to work out, you know, on Tuesday. Which might also be one of the reasons why I've then been able to fuck myself quite. So today I'm going to not work out. And yesterday and, and also today I've really made sure that I'm not doing any exercise. Because sometimes I just do some push-ups because it is fun and because I just want to feel it and stuff. But I've decided to just not do anything. You know, uh, just because I, 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 I've understood and I've seen that, that my body needs to rest and repair. Uh, also because, I mean, I was actually quite fucked, you know. Uh, also in the sense of performance-wise, everything was well. I've been able to just push myself through quite. And um, but and I've also got a pump and, and all of that good stuff. But, but yeah, not good. So please have a look at it. Please just also think about uh, doing it in the optimal way and figuring out the optimal way for you. Whatever this might be. And just, you know, because it really comes up to which um, type of body you're having, your genetics and all those things. Because if you can't recover, if you're overtraining, it is, it is fucked up. It really is. Your, your brain isn't working that well anymore. Your body isn't obviously working that well anymore. You completely fuck yourself. And it's just really not worth it. Really is not. So please, please, please have a look at this. And please uh, also rest enough, which includes sleep, but which at least at my point of view also includes active rest, uh, i.e. stretching, i.e. just resting just just having some time off because if you overtrain then, then then you have to rest quite you know unless you really want to break yourself and 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 i don't know like i think this is definitely something in general that i do quote unquote struggle with that i i always get too far and i always just uh, i always just do too much until i really can't handle it anymore i guess and this is then when I know, okay, now I have to stop. And now I have to kind of um, adjust things, I guess. And so I don't know, like, there's a lot of great information on that, on volume, how many sets, how many reps, because it, it, it's not that, that easy. You can really simplify it. But, but if you really know what, if you do really want to know shit and, and stuff, then there is a lot of nuances to that. Um, yeah. And, but, but it's a cool thing because now I've been able to structure my workout just completely differently. And it's pretty interesting and I'm gonna see whether uh, it works out as I want it to work out. And if it does, it's, it's pretty cool. And, and if it is not doing what I just wanted to do, then then I don't know. I've made some gains and I'm gonna keep them anyway, which is a good thing. B because like it is, uh, it is difficult to build them, but maintaining them is not that of a huge deal, as I've also seen yesterday. Um, which, which actually I think just includes for some body parts like just, I don't know, sometimes even zero sets per week that you just maintain it, you know, but I think this is only the case for abs, uh, even though like a lot of just dietary things play into that as well, um, which you might know if you're into that space. But anyway, something else that I do want to talk about, and this is something that I've been, uh, um, I've been hitting on or been talking about a little tiny bit yesterday as well, is uh, being smart with what you're doing. Um, because I have seen that, that of course, I mean, there is a lot of advice that you can get on various different things. I mean, you can get advice on uh, relationship things. You can get advice on communicating in general. You can get advice at um, building your business and whatnot. But, but often it turns out to just, you know, just being smart about things and just thinking about them and doing something that's logical 
is just good, you know, or good enough. Let's put it like this. I mean, for example, if I, uh, I don't know, if I produce a video, then, for example, posting it when I know people are going to see it, when I know people are going to be online is smart. You know, I'm not going to post it when nobody's online and nobody's able to see it. Also because uh, I know that, okay, if it is doing well in the first few hours of me uploading it, then it's going to be uh, just promoted, quote unquote, even more by YouTube, for example. You know, because uh, if it is performing well in the first few hours, I guess it just somehow gets a boost. And then, I you know, if if the whole attention sinks a little bit, then, then uh, YouTube also knows, okay, it's not that of a good video. You know, we thought it is a good one, but it is not. So it's it, it, a lot of things make sense you know i really a lot of make uh, really a lot of things make sense so uh so i don't know try to be smart about things try to um make things in a smart way and do things in a smart way and also in a way that is working good for you because of course like people are going to tell you do it in this way do it in that way but uh, but if it is not working for you in in this or that way then th then yeah you know why should you be doing it in this way why should you be doing it in that way like there is no no reason behind that like it's just gonna be a waste of time and it's just gonna be um it's just not gonna be good for your productivity also for your well-being probably as well so there's there's a lot of nuances to that as well but uh, the point is be smart about things and and, and think about things i mean uh, for example as well if you're just communicating with somebody like uh, when should i when should i text this person you know whether this is just I don't know, some love relationship or whether this is just something else, but I don't know, think about it. Should I text this person in the early morning or, or should I text this person in the evening? Hmm, I don't know. It probably depends on what this person is doing. If you know that the person is, I don't know, really busy during the day, then just don't text or call during the day because it is fucked up. You know, just call or text in the evening. It just makes way more sense. Or, um... Of course, like a lot of uh, knowledge also plays into that. You know, you just also, for example, need to know uh, when your audience is going to be uh, just uh, online to to just think about the first point that I've been uh, been bringing up. Uh, like you need some knowledge and you need some things. And, and I don't know, like there's a lot of things that you can read and go through online. And by the way, book recommendation. And I'm pretty grateful and uh, for this book recommendation because it was also recommended to me and it's still, still, to this day, I still find it is strange, you know, that, that I haven't been stumbling upon it before. It's The Why Cafe. It's an amazing book about some things that I often talk about, which is uh, meaning in life, consumerism, uh, all sorts of things. And it's an amazing book with a, uh, an amazing story and you can actually read it for free online. Um, when you go to the archive.com and type in the Y Cafe, then you can download it for free also as an EPUB version, which uh, makes it a little bit faster to read. Uh, I've been able to complete it in um, uh, three hours, I guess, in total, uh, over two days, quite. And uh, it's been a really fucking good book because it just talks about so many things that I really appreciate and, and, and also think are uh, really important. So please have a look at it. I'm so grateful that uh, it was recommended to me. Like, really. It's just, you know, I, I am gonna, from now on, recommend it all the fucking time. You know, it, it might not be necessarily something new for you, but but I guess it's just also a good reminder to just, um, you know, view it and have a look at it. But, you know, it might also be just something completely new for some people. I just also do want to say it, that, that it might be. Um, yes. Something else. Is there something else that I want to... Yes, of course. Strange. Because I've been talking about strange things. At this point in time... And it's, it, it, it weirdly also plays into the book thing. Because it... You know, it's it's also been like... A topic, quote-unquote, in the book. Which is... If you do things... That you're passionate about. That you... Um, that you find meaning in. Then... It is kind of inevitably gonna lead you to uh, better things in terms of like you know things are gonna happen good things are gonna cure um, and I don't know and I also do want to just get into it like doing the right thing I kind of feel like that doing the right thing is gonna lead to more right things happening to you as well because I mean so many different strange things happen and I, I can't somehow go into just depth there because it would be unnecessary because nobody would understood it anyway you know, um, but, 
But I mean, just some coincidences and, and some strange things happening and some things where I just really think like, well, you know, why? And I don't know, th these things make life pretty interesting for me. Um, wondering like, why is this happening? Why did this happen? Why did this happen at this point of time, at this exact second? Like, what coincidence is it? You know, how high is the chance? What is the probability of that? Um, and I don't know, like, there's just... It's interesting. It, it's a cool thing. And I don't know. I do just want to point out once again, as so often, that being kind and being generous and being a kind person and, and being a nice person, also being remembered as one, is just one of the best things you can be doing. And one of the best things that you could, could also just introduce to your children, if you are a parent. Uh, because it is just going to be something of value. It is always going to be. We always do things... Um, and or just we always choose people that we we like and I mean there's also a lot of quote-unquote strategies to be liked by other people uh, or just um, hiring the chance that this is going to be the case if this makes sense you know uh, mirroring and all sorts of things um, of course but but I don't know like if you're nice like I don't know if you're an asshole of course just nobody's gonna like you unless this person is an asshole as well on the other hand it is like um on the other hand, it is just totally like, uh, it feels better for you as well. You're gonna feel better about yourself and and it feels right as well. And doing things that feel right are also nice and it just also feels good. And I don't know, like on some days I really wish that I would be able to do more good things. Um, first of all, it gives me a kick, it really does. You know, it, it just really lets me feel good and this is something that I like. And on the other hand, it is like, I don't know. I just like it. I think I think indeed, like the, the kick that I'm getting out of it, in terms of like just it feeling good or it letting me feel good, is um, is probably a pretty high reason why I'm even doing it. I don't know. Uh, besides it feeling just correct and right, which um, on the other hand is like yes, it's also making me feel something. So it's just the same point once again. Quite. If this is understandable, I hope so. Um, but I don't know. Focus on that. You know, focus on making something that's great. Focus on saying something that's great uh, and, and doing something that's great. You know, because we all can do something and we all can at least say something to, um, to those people that we appreciate and, or those things that we appreciate. I mean, like, if somebody is wearing something pretty cool, then you can point it out. Like, I fucking like these shoes. The person is going to feel amazing about that. The person is going to appreciate that. And, and, but it should be honest. Like, there's no point in saying something that's not honest. Like, it's complete bullshit. Like, there's no, there's no reason why you should even be thinking about that. Like, no, it's, it's not good. You know, it's, it's anti-karma just uh, times a hundred. Don't do that. <laughs> really is not a good idea. Um, on the other hand, um, yeah, uh, say something, do something, create something. If you know that people are going to profit from it or going to just like it, then, and it is not a lot of work for you, then why don't you do it? I mean, you could, really could. Especially when it is about saying something, like just saying something nice, praising somebody, but also just doing it in a way that that is not like, oh, you did this really well. Nobody gives a fuck about that. Nobody gives a fuck about you just being like, oh, you did this very well. Well done. I don't know. Like, of, of course, it depends on who you are. If you're really just um, high level personality and A level personality, then uh, people are going to be more happy about that. But if you're just a regular boss, the regular boss that normally is a fucking asshole, as, as a lot of people actually think, which um, which I think, no. Uh, I, yeah, it, it's complicated, I guess. The thing is, just just mean it, be generous with praise, and, and do it often, you know? But also just being honest, quite. And also being specific, I guess. I think it's a pretty huge part as well. Like, um, you just wrote this word so well because I can read it like really good and I've never seen it before written in this way and I like just this A that you've been using there. This is something completely different than if you say, wow, uh, you've run, you've wrote this pretty good. You know, it, it just also depends on your tonality, it also depends on your body language, it also depends on whether you're just texting or whether you're just actually one-to-one, -one. so in person, if it is an in-person conversation, like there's a lot of things that play into that, I would say, and... And I don't know, I feel like just hugging the whole world and I would like to do that because uh, because I don't know, like I do want to let people feel good and happy. I want to have that. I just don't want to see a lot of negative people. 
I don't know. It's, it's not what I want to see. And and I hope that I can in some way uh, make that happen for, for some people at least. For some people that are uh, relatively close to me. And I don't know, maybe even with the podcast. But we're going to see in the future how this is going to turn out, I guess. At this point in time, it's, it's actually doing pretty good, to be honest. You know, really quite good. It's, it's not like, you know, a million clicks and something. No, it is not. But... But I don't know, like at this point in time, I'm, the funny thing is, at this point in time, I'm just doing it. You know, I don't think about the money that I might be earning. Like I just, this is the thing that I just give a fuck the most about. And um, I mean, helping other people, this, this comes, this is pretty, I think, high on the list of, okay, why this would be actually pretty great. Because I would be in charge. I would be in charge of just putting out things that, well, I am at this point in time also in charge of doing that. So I might just be doing a pretty bad job at doing that. Could be the case. I'm also not really feeling like just sharing a lot of things that might be pretty valuable. You know, one of these things that I always thought like it's pretty valuable is the five book summaries um, list, like the top book summaries of 2019. It's a video that I've done. It's it's not that of a good video. I could have done it in a better way, but I still think that these book summary sites, they're fucking amazing. And not everyone is uh, or was able to find them. You know, at this point of time, they've changed unfortunately but 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 yeah yeah i think that this is gonna be an interesting video i hope that this is somehow good um yeah maybe this was just a, a therapy session for myself talking about some things but yeah um shout out to everyone uh yeah i appreciate it so the question of the day is what could you do what could you make what could you create that you know is gonna change somebody's life what could it be what um what is in your mind what Yes, what, what, what could you do? Anyway, I wish you the best health, health, happiness and also success and also hope that you're going to you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy and basically means just being a nice person and then being remembered as a nice person, which is a good thing, an amazing thing indeed. Um, three other questions that I'm having of you are, why are you here, what are you trying to change and what is bothering you the most? Because these three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which is an optimal and cool thing. Yes. I'm hopefully going to see the next time. I'm now going to learn and or study a bit. And uh, I don't know. I just really appreciate it. I appreciate your time and the time that you've taken and all these things. And uh, yeah, hopefully going to see you the next time. So stay nice, stay generous, praise people, praise their actions. And we hope we're going to see each other the next time. So bye bye. Bye bye. And now I'm going to turn off the microphone. I'm probably going to cut it out, but maybe... I'm also not gonna cut it out. It depends. It depends, you know. Um, so it could be. Uh, it could also not be. But yeah, we're gonna see. Maybe I'm gonna end it on exactly 25. Well, it's 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 never gonna be 25 minutes because I'm gonna cut it anyway. So it's gonna be 23 minutes, 24 probably something like that. But anyway, uh, as I said, please be nice, be generous, be kind. Be patient and a lot of other things that I think are great. Bye-bye.